Well, it looks like they hit Chile with, uh, you know, down there in South America with the same direct energy weapons that they did to Lahaina, Maui. Engineered recidivism is all over the fucking place. It's been going on for decades. I just hope everyone wakes up. <laughs> Sooner than later. Uh, we're all in this together, aren't we? Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah. You know, I've been to Maui <clears throat> multiple times, and where all these cars just kind of melted and all that shit up on the uh, bypass above Lahaina, um, going to Napali and Ironwoods Beach and all that stuff on the west side of Maui. There's no freaking way cars are burning up in all these locations. It's crazy. Uh, we already know what's going on. If you got your head on top of your shoulders and not sitting on it. Ugh. Oh, it's so freaking warm in here. <laughs> you got to peel off some layers, but I got shit to do outside. We just, we just out here. <clears throat> Got some snow. I gotta go move some stuff around, man. Got some snow out here. Yeah. So. They got all these bills trying to open up the border and uh, blah, blah, blah. Communism, communism, communism. Holy fuck. When is it going to stop? Well, it'll stop when everyone gets up off their fucking shoulders and does something about it. Because your government's not going to do it for you. The government is the fucking enemy. It always has been. <clears throat> Why do you think they assassinated Kennedy with his speeches and everything? And the missile crisis and, you know, and Cuba and all. <laughs> and now, now we got the Chinese and all that shit uh, setting up fucking shit in Panama City or Panama, I mean, don't believe anything that you hear and only half of what you see and read, you'll be just fine, just use common sense, use logic, the truth, you know, seek it out, eventually I have a studio where, you know, I might fucking put some shit up, and uh, until then, it's uh, raw and rugged, this is the way you get it, um, unless I, you know, Put you in front of the laptop and do GoPro videos, which I will be doing sometime soon. But it's been busy playing in the snow, enjoying this not 20 below weather. <laughs> it's like 21 degrees. I was like, oh, it's a freaking heat wave. And they're calling for over 30 degrees in the next couple. It's like, no, 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 no. We don't need no melty ass snow. I want to go snowboarding, I want to go play in it. I want to enjoy it. Not that wet shit. Avalanche shit. Fucking. I mean. It used to be where it was awesome to breathe in the snow. Now with all the spraying of the skies and all that shit. And what I'm finding in our snow when we're distilling water and all that stuff. It's, it's fucking crazy. That's not. That's not volcanic ash. It's not wood stove ash in the snow or any of that shit. No, you can go out in the middle of fucking nowhere, gather this shit up, and yeah. You got this crazy ass stuff. You look under the microscope at it. I gotta get another microscope. Um, yeah. This isn't ash or anything. It's that aluminum and plastic and fucking glass particles that they fucking, you know, hey, be a good Samaritan and go recycle. Have you ever seen a recycled glass bottle? Have you ever seen a recycled aluminum can that your beer comes in or your, your fucking super nasty ass fucking soda pop comes in and all that shit? You know, Woca cola and stuff. Ah, fucking shit's horrible for you. They got corn syrup. FDA's the fucking criminals. CDC's a bunch of criminals. NIH is a bunch of criminals. Homeland Security is a bunch of fucking criminals. TSA. Get treated like fuck terrorists. Go fly around in your own fucking country. It's fuck bullshit. I've had less touching in prison on my body 
than I do at the fucking airport, especially flying out of Medford. They're like fucking a bunch of Nazis in there, man. Especially one of the last times I flew out of there visiting family. I was actually doing work down there, too, for one of our family members on my wife's side. And they're like, fuck it, you want to go into a room? No, we'll do this right here. Why would I go in private areas in this bullshit in the first place? Well, it's just where you have to do that. So I'm just rando. I'm just a rando pick. Come on, fuck you. That's fucking bullshit. I've been touched worse at the airport than I ever did in prison. Fuck. It's fucking nonsense, man. Everyone better wake up to 9-11 and all the fucking wars before and all this shit. My grandparents talked about it. Every single one of them made it out alive out of World War II, Vietnam, Korean War. Um, the grandfather that I grew up with. I'm just going to say his name, Buck Shagnon. The Marine, he taught me everything. I went on to do and more. Uh, Sharpshooting, sniper, you name it. I grew up with knowing how fucking sinister our government is. I grew up in rural Alaska. I grew up in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I miss home. I'm here on the Kenai Peninsula. Come and get me, motherfuckers! <laughs> shit. Such a wonky-ass fucking clown world fucking shit show kangaroo court system. All this fucking crap. Everyone needs to stand the fuck up against this. If you care about your family and you care and, and, and want your grandkids, if you have any, maybe your great-grandkids. I don't know the age group of uh, what this actually goes through. If you're watching me on YouTube, it's, a, it's fucking congratulations, man. <laughs> I'm shadow banned like a motherfucker. People can type in stuff. I even give them specific, to the point, uh, titles of old videos and shit. I'm a crazy motherfucker, man. I'm fucking seriously bonkers. I'm probably wrong about everything, right? Just like conspiracy theories that keep coming true 100% all the fucking time. <laughs> I didn't know Rachel Maddow was a fucking doctor and shit, uh, you know, screaming at everyone. Just like all the other legacy media and all the fucking outlets out there that fucking tell you, oh, go get that booster shot. Go get that fucking pokey poke up your dick hole and fucking up your butthole and all this stuff. Oh, uh, everyone's got the fucking coof and... You know, yeah, pokey poke this and pokey poke that. And it's still fucking it. people still wearing masks here and there. Even in Alaska, it's like, yeah, we got enough fucking liberals here. What's funny is we got liberals with guns here. Is that scary? No, not to me. Never fear. Your salty Alaskan Rambo is here. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I probably should have fucking said some more, but... Whatever, man. I got shit to do. Just like the rest of us. So, cheers from Alaska. See you next time. See you on the Thursday Thursday rant. Mm-hmm.